All right, this one should be a quick one, but I do wanna get it covered since many of you have asked about this in the past. As you all know, when it comes to supplements, there are really only three that I would regularly recommend. Caffeine, protein shakes, and creatine. But when it comes to creatine, it might be confusing on exactly how we're supposed to take it. In this video, we'll go over recommended creatine intake levels based on scientific research. First, I want to clarify that I'm talking about creatine monohydrate. There are other variations, but by far the most studied and relevant variation is creatine monohydrate. If you're unfamiliar with creatine in general, then please come check out my other videos about creatine to get yourself caught up. Back to intake recommendations. First, let's address one of the most common creatine intake questions. Do you have to load your creatine in order to maximize its benefits? Short answer, not really. Longer answer, kind of, since there's one crucial benefit to it in which we'll discuss. First, what is creatine loading? Creatine loading is a phase where in the first week, creatine supplementation is much higher than normal. During the loading phase, it's commonly recommended to ingest about 20 grams of creatine per day, a substantially higher number than the normal recommendations of 2 to 5 grams. This is suggested because standard diets generally fill muscle creatine stores to only about 60 to 80 percent. In order to fully saturate the muscles, we need to not only supplement, but according to some, we need to supplement a lot. Now, in this case, a study did show that loading 20 grams of creatine daily does indeed fully saturate muscle creatine stores. However, research has also shown that full saturation can be achieved with only 3 grams per day. And that's where the no loading is not needed comes from, since we can indeed achieve full saturation with lower intakes. Of course, there is a catch, and that's duration. 20 grams a day achieved full muscle creatine saturation in 6 days. 3 grams a day achieved full saturation in 28 days. With that in mind, it does seem that best practice is to have some sort of loading phase. Although unneeded, the much more rapid saturation with loading can allow us to more readily take advantage of creatine's performance and adaptation benefits. That being said, let's get into recommendations. I would recommend consuming 20 grams of supplemented creatine for the first 7 days you start taking creatine monohydrate. After that, you can dial it down to 2-5 to five grams daily since it's been shown that this is sufficient enough to maintain full saturation. It's also recommended that you take creatine alongside some form of carb and protein. Studies have shown that creatine retention is greater when taken with either a carb or carb plus protein mixture versus creatine alone. So throw it in your sports drink or protein shakes and you should be good to go. Just make sure you drink a bit more water due to creatine's osmotic properties that can lead to slightly more water retention. As for when you should take it, studies really show no difference. What matters most is that you take it consistently, be it before or after your workout or a different time. And finally, you don't have to cycle creatine. You can take it year-round or even jump off of it without any detrimental effects outside of returning to your previous levels of muscle creatine saturation. That wraps up this video on how to take creatine. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask it in the comments below. Other than that, like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with your creatine loving friends. As always, thank you for watching and get your protein.